And for most Americans, this Sunday means the clock falls back. That means it's going to get darker earlier. In fact, 28% of people who live in rural areas say the time change affects their mental health. Christian Benavides has more on losing daylight. When it ends, I Greg it. Robinson has but mixed feelings happy. about turning the clocks back, marking the end of daylight saving time. He likes that extra hour of sleep. When I lose an hour of sunlight at the end of the day after work, I don't like that. And neither does Alberto Parajon. In the wintertime, it gets dark around 5 or 6. I much rather it got dark at 7. Dr. Petros Livonis with the American Psychiatric Association says it's not just inconvenient, the time change could affect your mental health. In a new survey, one in five Americans said they're negatively impacted by it. This is a very, very high number of people who actually say that uh, uh, the change in time will uh, give them some depression, some discomfort, some uneasiness. According to the survey, two-thirds of adults say they notice at least one behavioral change, from sleeping more to feeling fatigued or depressed. The poll also found women are nearly twice as likely as men to say their mental health has been negatively affected by the fall time change. Dr. Lavonis warns some people may develop seasonal affective disorder. There are also people who are going to have a more severe form of this uh, winter blues, feeling lonely, feeling uh, depressed, stop having interest in the things that gave you pleasure. He recommends spending more time outdoors, even as the daylight hours decrease. Frequent outdoor exercise and taking breaks to experience the daylight are some of the ways you can ward off those winter blues. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.